welcome to part 9 of Super Mario World. We are now continuing on with the Forest of Illusion for, um, Fortress. The Forest Fortress. What you want to do is pass that door, because that is not where you want to go. In order to get to Star Road, we have to go through this hardship. Hopefully you've mastered the use of the, of the cape. Otherwise you will not make it over here. Especially with your first try. If you do, respect. These one up mushrooms will make up for all of your failures. Guaranteed. And now we have to fight the Resnors again. They're the they're completely the same. Their AIs have not changed at all. They're as easy as they were before. Yeah. That's all that. By pressing the L and R buttons, you can go, you can revisit the castle as many times as you want. And I just went there for no reason. Anyway, time to go to Star World Four. Here we have. Red Yoshi, and pretty much they all work the same. Eat up a certain amount of Koopas, and eat up a certain amount of stuff, and Yoshis will grow. I was hoping to at least hit that last one. But oh well. You want to use Red Koopas to your advantage in order to get through certain areas by spitting out three fireballs. I was just checking to see why I was over there. I don't know why I went over there. I just went over there for no reason, I guess. Okay. You might think there's something fishy over here. Oh, what's this? If you don't have the green or red switches, you're obviously not going to survive or be able to get to the secret e exit. So, yeah. Let's get out of here. Star Road. Um, I'm pretty sure this is connected with uh, the Valley of Bowser. So, we'll come back to that later. For now, it is time to fight the next boss in one of my least favorite castles in the entire game. Number 5, Roy Cast Roy's Castle. <clears throat> As usual, you have to leave Yoshi behind. He, he cannot go into castles or ghost houses. For the first half of this castle, you ride along these, uh, these blocks. They move like a snake, in some sort of ways. 
while you're at it, there are these bounce-like fireballs that will annoy the heck out of you every time. Because I know that they do it to me. And while you're at it, there are falling spikes. Make sure to watch out for them. And that was only the hardest part. The rest of it is pretty smooth going. Not so hard. Just watch out for these Bowser statues, these silver Bowser statues. And of course these Bowser fireballs. As long as you have the K power up, it's pretty easy going. Now it's time to fight Roy Koopa. You fight him exactly the same like you do Morning Koopa, except that the walls close. So be sure to finish off Roy Koopa before the walls close. Otherwise, it's all over. Anyway, we have defeated him. I wonder what Mario has up his sleeve for destroying this castle. I can't wait to see that. Oh, you're gonna blow it up again? Oh, what happened, Mario? No, don't touch it! <laughs> That's what you get! <laughs> Mario found his way through the Forest of Illusion and has put an end to Roy Koopa of Castle 5. Onward to the dangerous but tasty Chocolate Island. No kidding. It sure is dangerous. Here we have Dino Rhino and Dino Re um, Dino Turbo. I mean, I mean Torch, Dino Torch. Uh, Dino Rhino is the is the big one, and slow ones, of course, and the mean-looking ones. When you jump on top of it, it shrinks into into a Dino Turbo. Ugh. Dino Torch, which are these little fellas. They are fast, and they are quite the jumper. Oops, I guess. Go inside this pipe and rock it out of that one. Some people might not even think about going through there. With Yoshi, you can walk over mushrooms. The reason why the small ones are called Dino Torch is because they're the only ones that shoot out fire. They're the only they're the only ones with fire breath. Or should I say baby flame? <laughs> Digimon reference. Once again, jump out of here, hope we make it. Yes, we made it. We beat it. And I still didn't cut the tape. For I don't even care. I don't even care. Chaco Ghost House. This is... This has got to be by far my least favorite ghost house of all time. Seriously. You're you're about to see why. Let the level speak let this course speak for itself. And make sure to watch out for all these eeries. 
They're the main annoyances. And here we have a... A Boo Lakitu. Uh, um, some kind of... I don't know. Um, I guess... Um, let me see. I think I might know what his name is. Pretty much, it is a Lagatu slash Boo. It's a combination of those. Pretty much, it's a dead Lagatu. And it's trying to send us to hell. More reason for me to hate this guy even more. These are Boo Buddy blocks. Here's a Boo. Here's a Boo Buddy snake. Be sure to watch out for all of them. These Boo Buddy blocks can actually be useful. You see, the goal is up there, and we want to use these Boo Buddy <laughs> Boo Buddy blocks to get up here. Make sure they're in block form, otherwise, we're done. <laughs> As I just found out, the Lakitu Boo is called a fishing boo. See you in part 10. <laughs>